I'm Pastor George Borkart and Thor, and this is another Higher Things video short. Why the church is so consumed with the, go the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps us putting the gospel into the ears of our church's youth. And those kids, our kids, need this gospel more than ever. Thursday, on Fridays, we're going to take a look at something that sort of maybe piqued our interest during the week, highlight something from our daily Bible study. If you don't know, link in the description, we are every day having a Bible study, and we're going through John's gospel. We're in the second chapter. This is streamed Facebook Live. So I want you to just take a look a little bit at this text. The Passover, the feast of the Jews was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple he found uh, those selling oxen and sheep and pigeons and money changers sitting there. And making a whip of cords, he drove them out of the temple with the sheep and the oxen. And he poured the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And he said to those who sold pigeons, take these away. Don't make my father's house into a house of trade. His disciples remember that it is written, zeal for his house will consume me. And they said, and the Jews said to him, what signs do you have to show us why you do these things? And Jesus answered, destroy this temple. And in three days, I will raise it up again. This reading, which occurs in other gospels later, occurs in John's gospel specifically for one purpose, to show us what Jesus is all about. He goes right from baptism uh, to his first miracle, to cleansing the temple, to show you what it's all about. It's all about destroying his temple and building it back in three days, which is to say it's about Jesus's death and resurrection. From the get-go in John's gospel, it's about the suffering and death of Jesus. It's all about it. And so the question about why is the church consumed with the suffering and death of Jesus is because Jesus is consumed with saving us. He doesn't go right off the bat hard into the paint about being a better person. He doesn't go hard in the paint about you having your best life now or something that you would consider innovative, authentic, or relevant to your life. Instead, he goes something to the most irrelevant thing. He cleanses the temple, making it prepared for a sacrifice. His sacrifice for you. His death for you. So what's this all about? The church's main message is the suffering and death of Jesus. Apart from that, we have nothing. Move on from that, get around it. We cease to know our first love. And our lampstand in Revelation will be moved from its place. Church should be about Jesus for you, not you for Jesus. Not your change, but his taking on your flesh and dying. Not your commitment to God, to God, but God's commitment to you in Jesus Christ. So why are we so consumed in the church with the suffering and death of Jesus? Because that's the main message of the gospel. That's the main message of Jesus. It's got Thor so excited he's about to kill somebody. And it should you, you should expect nothing else. Your flesh, your desires want something innovative, something to scratch your ears, something that you would consider relevant. Jesus comes back and back and back to pounding like nails into his hands. How important the, the, the sole message of the gospel is. It's more important than anything else. It's the central, central message that we have at church. Come to church, get your sins forgiven. Come to church, hear about Jesus. Will you hear about those other things? Yeah, without doubt. You'll hear about loving your neighbor. You're hearing about better people. But it will all flow from, be centered in, be rooted in the nails in his hands and feet that Jesus destroys the temple and after three days raises it again. The temple of his body after his resurrection. They knew that he was talking about that before his resurrection in the Gospels. We know because we know the story, because it's 
what we're hitting on every single week. We need this gospel. Your kids need this gospel. You need this gospel. So that you will never think that you've moved on from it. So that we will, in the times in which we need to call upon him, will know what to call upon him for. We don't need healing from our cancer as much as we need healing from our sins. We don't need uh, a successful life as much as we need a, a, a rescue from our sins. As soon as we're out of the chains of slavery from our sins, we can learn to love others, truly love others as we have been loved. We're all about Jesus because he's all about being for us and saving us. I'm Pastor George Barkhart. Have a great weekend. And this has been another Higher Things video short.